Hey guys, Mr. Mice is here one more time and we're talking about using the TI Inspire. And in this video, I'm just gonna do a quick introduction on using the uh, data and statistics tab and see how we use that. And I'm also gonna talk quickly about how to make a relative frequency histogram. So what we're gonna do here is from my, I'm, I'm in my homepage right here. This is our data and statistics tab. Now I'm gonna use my doc or the current document that I'm in so that way I can use the data that I had in my previous video, which was about using a spreadsheet. So in order to use my data and statistics tab, I really need to have a spreadsheet that I've already put stuff in. So here I have um, apple and peach, and I defined peach as being three times apple, and you'll see how that relates in just a second. Now I'm gonna add a few things in here. Um, let's, let's add, let's see, we got five, eight, nine, 10, 11. Let's add uh, 15 and um, 25. All right, so now I have uh, some va values in here. I have data and I'm gonna use these data and I'm gonna show you how to use the data and statistics tab just to just look at a few things. So a quick introduction. So I'm gonna add a tab and again, how to do that, I'm gonna hit control doc, which adds a page and I'm gonna add a data and statistics page. Notice I've got these random dots out here, not really random, but they're just dots kind of floating along. And before I can do anything, I'm gonna use my little either touch pad or I'm gonna either over here, this little touch pad here, I'm just gonna scroll down and it says click to add variable. So what I'm gonna wanna do here is I'm gonna click to add my variable and I click and it gives me two options. It gives me apple or peach, that's what it knows because that's what's in our, in our spreadsheet. I'm going to go ahead and pick apple and my data for my apple goes into the uh, x-axis and notice here I've got some values down on my x-axis these are the values for apple and I've got one variables data here one variable being my apple if I wanted to I can click and add a y variable and it says okay do you want to add do apple or peach and if I did apple well it's not going to do Apple twice, right? It won't compare apples to apples <laughs> in this case. Um, I should have picked uh, oranges here because apples and oranges would have made more sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and put apples back on the x-axis and I'm gonna click peaches here. So we'll, we're gonna go ahead and compare apples to peaches. And notice here I've got a pretty much a straight line here, which makes sense because peaches were three times the apples and that's what I had before. <clears throat> now, in real life, it's not always going to be the case where they come out in an in, in, in exactly straight line, right? That's what we're going to exper experience in, in AP Statistics is what are those little changes going to be? What can we do with that, that information and those data? And a lot of you have done in some class some sort of, of regret, a linear you know, where you put a scatter plot and you've looked at the, the best fit line or something like that, but we'll look at that later. Just right now, this is an introduction. So I'm gonna go and take the peach off. I'm only gonna look at one variable and apples. So in order to do that, I'm gonna hit menu and I'm gonna say, let's go to actions. Actually, I'm gonna go to plot properties and I'm gonna remove my Y variable. So I just have my X variable and I'm gonna look at a, a couple of graphs here. Now, if I go to plot type, I got different types of plots that I can do. I can have a box plot. I have a dot plot, which is what I already have. So the dot plot is what I'm looking at. It's a dots and it's a plot. I have a box plot, which you might have heard as a box and whisker plot someplace. And I also have what we're gonna be using a lot as a histogram. Now a histogram is a, uh, a graph of what we call quantitative data, which is basically just numbers. So in this case, I have numbers. I'm gonna use a histogram. And I'm gonna show you how to do, well, let me just show you the box plot. Boom. Wow, look at that, it make a box and whisker plot, all right? We're not gonna spend much time on that. We will come back to that later. But on your summer homework, so if you're in my AP Statistics class this coming year, in my summer homework, I ask you to draw a relative frequency histogram. Well, this is called a frequency histogram. It tells me the frequency, how many are in between, how many of these tens, you see we've got nine and 11, that goes in that box, we have two of those. That's not relative frequency, that's frequency. Now we talk about relative, we're actually asking about its percentage. What percentage of the data in this sample set or in this data set, what percentage are in this box here? Well, we have to do two out of the total, um, but the calculator will do it for us. So we hit menu, 
and we'll hit plot properties. Now we do a lot of stuff in plot properties. Remember I removed the Y variable here, but histogram properties, we're, we're gonna do a lot of histograms in this class. So we're gonna go to histogram properties. And we've got two options, histogram scale, which we're going to use now. And we've got bin settings. Bin settings allows us to change the width of those rectangles. Now, normally we're gonna want equal bin width and that'll allow us to change those bins. Um, those bins. Basically, how many rectangles do we want? How thick do we want those rectangles? We're not gonna deal with that now, but we will when we get into class. So we're gonna go ahead and hit percent because relative frequency means percent. So we're gonna go and click on that. And notice that this changed here. Now, if you want to scale this down a little bit, you go to here, you use your little, your little um, scroller touch and you just, kind of hold on to it, all right, until the little hand comes up and bring it up and down. And now we have a relative frequency histogram. So what I would do is for you that are in my AP stats class next year, and I've asked you to draw a relative frequency histogram, you're basically gonna draw this picture that you see with the percentages that you see here and the axis that you see there. Make sure you label it. It's really, really important that you label. So right here, I would put apple, I would put percent, and this picture that I have right in front of me is exactly what I want to draw on my paper because it has my labeling, it has my values, and it has my percentages, and it has my uh, my histograms in, in, a, in about a bin width that I'm okay with for now. I'll show you how to change those when we get into class. But this is a basic idea of how to use the the data and statistics page. We're going to do a whole lot more with the data and statistics tab. Um, including finding linear regressions, finding slow, um, finding the equation of best fit, um, you know, drawing box plots, drawing um, dot plots and histograms like I just showed you. So we've got a lot of things we can do. This is just kind of a small introduction of how and what we're going to be doing in class using this tab. All right. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.